Well, hello my friends and welcome to my bathroom. This is a hot, hot mess. This is my linen closet. It is right inside of my bathroom. Literally when I moved in, I just shove things places. I have like a little bit of organization going on, but let's face it, this needs some serious, serious help. So. First things first, I'm gonna clear out everything. I have some organizers that I just have on hand that I may use, but it's time to tackle this monstrosity. All right, so it has been a hot minute and I've only gotten through two of my shelves. The other ones I haven't even touched anything on yet, but I think what I wanna do, because this shelf here, it goes up like really high. I think I want to stack all of my towels up there because obviously, as you guys can see, I have way too many towels for one person. But I think that would probably utilize this shelf a little bit better. So I'm going to move my towels up here. And I'm just going to do that right now. And then I'll clear out all the rest of the stuff. And then we'll do this like I normally would. Grouping like items with like items and all that good stuff. But I think towels needs to go on this shelf right now. Okay, towels are finagled. I like the way that this looks. All my big bath towels are right behind. Besides the one I'm currently using, I have all my white hand towels and then all my white washcloths are in this little bin I got from Target several, several years ago. I also have these navy towels. I've got some navy washcloths right there. I'll get into that in a minute. These are ones that I use for my hair as well as when I do my makeup. I kind of clean my brushes off on them. I don't want to use my white ones for that just because they're going to end up getting stained after a while. Um, but all of my towels I got from Pottery Barn several years ago. And I use these navy towels daily. And they are a little worse for the wear on the edges, but I've probably had them since 2007, 2008. So I've had them for over a decade, y'all, and they have held up so, so well. And then over here, it's another bin from Target. I want to say that these bins were actually like, remember back in the day when everybody had CDs? I think they're like CD bins, <laughs> but they were just, you know, like a rattan look. So anyway, I do have some of these in the navy. I like to use these more than the white ones. Just because if I'm, you know, taking my makeup off at the end of the day or something like that, I like to use these a little bit more. But um, I have white in there as well. So, you know, I don't want to get rid of them because they're amazing. And then right behind here, I've just got some like extra shower puff things. So I just thought that that was a good place to kind of stuff more things back here. There are a couple of different colors back there as well. But these are just nice to have on hand. So those are my top two shelves as of right now. I have cleared out the bottom. So everything is completely empty. Behind me is a complete disaster. Do you guys want to see my hot mess? This is my mess. You guys, yikes, right? Also, I have like a ton of garbage, just a ton of garbage. I was looking at expiration dates and there's like things in boxes that I didn't need in boxes anymore. So I just took them out of the boxes. So yeah, major de-stashing going on as well. So that's a quick little update from me as how the progress is going. And I am going to start grouping like items with like items, still de-stashing and being brutally honest with all my stuff. And then I'll check in in a little bit. All right, you guys, I have to share this. So I just kind of put a few things in here. This is not necessarily where things are going to stay. But I found all of these Venus razor heads and like they're, some of them are a little bit different, but, and of course then look, I find three handles. They are all the same, like little, you know, I want to call it a spout, but it's not a spout. Like the little clicky thing, you know? So all of these razor heads fit these. So like, there's no reason I need three of these. So I'm gonna keep one, and then these two are getting thrown in the trash because I don't need another one. I just, I, I don't need it. Y'all, crazy, right? And do you think I have enough, like, hair masks? <laughs> Actually, hold on, these are hair masks, and these are body scrubs. Maybe I need to, like, Think about that a little bit more. Yeah, that's not too bad now. 
oh my gosh. And right now I have all my sh extra shower stuff. So I have my tea gels in here. I've got an extra face wash and I've got two, um, two more razors back there, guys. Two more. Hmm. Should I just take these out of the packaging? I probably should, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's minimize as much as possible. And look how cute my tampons are. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think that's super cute. They're just in this cute little acrylic thing. Fun, right? Way cuter than that ugly Tampax box. Okay, again, these are Venus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the little heads off, just like that. And these are gonna go in the recycling because there's just nothing. I don't need all of these handles. I need one handle. Actually, I already have one handle in my shower. So this is my backup, this blue one. So these purple ones, bye-bye. Bye-bye purple ones. Now this seems a whole lot more manageable. Yeah. All right, my friends. So the bathroom linen closet has finally been reorganized and completed. I'm gonna take you shelf by shelf, show you what I've done. There are some systems that are kind of gonna be ever changing just depending on the products that I have, but I really, really enjoy the way that everything is set up now. So without further ado, let's turn you around or actually get me out of the frame and then I'll show you what's going on up here. So here is a quick overview of everything now. So much better, right guys? Oh my gosh, it's so much better. So let's start at the top. Here's the top shelf. This is all of my current towels. All of the big white ones back there are my bath towels. These ones are hand towels, but I use them for my hair. Um, I have, I think, eight of them, so it's kind of midweek right now when I'm filming this. So I have a few that are dirty. Those white ones back there, those are also hand towels. I typically just use those for drying off my hands. Inside of this little bin right here, I got this bin at Target. You're gonna see this bin again as well. I believe that these were like CD holders back in the day, but I do have just white washcloths right there. Also, all of these towels I got from Pottery Barn, so I will be leaving a link below for you guys if you are interested in checking them out. Next shelf down is basically medicines and stuff for the shower. Um, I also have another one of those wicker baskets also from Target. These are going to be all my ones I like to use, my washcloths that I enjoy using for my face stuff at night. I like to use this, especially when I'm using like a mask or something like that because it's such a dark color that if I have, some of the masks I have are quite dark or like green or something like that, like charcoal masks and stuff like that. So I don't really like using these white ones because I'm going to dye them. <laughs> so I like using those. I have all of my extra shower puffs back here. Um, also back here is going to be all of my shower thing. So I have some tea gel shampoos. I've got extras of those. I've got another facial cleanser. Um, these, I have some smaller facial cleansers. And this is actually like a facial scrub. So this is just like my shower, extra shower bin. These things didn't fit in the shower bin, so I just have them out here. This I'm actually almost out of. I used the other day and I really, really like it. It's a clay mask for your hair, especially I have really, really oily hair. So um, it's for oily roots, it says. I really like that. And then this is a like deep conditioner. I also have two of these. Hold on, I'll move this out of the way. There's like two body scrubs as well. So yeah, I really like those and um, they just didn't fit. Also for the shower, um, I went over this before in a previous clip, but here are all of my razors and my one extra handle. I already have a handle and a razor in my shower currently, but this is just where this is going to live. Also over here to the left-hand side, this bin I think I got at Bed Bath & Beyond many, many years ago, um, but this is basically like all of my like first aid medicines, things like that. So I've got my NyQuil, I've got some prescriptions, as well as just some, you know, like ibuprofen profins and things like that. Um, I like a little nutty pot. I've got some like heat pad things and all that good stuff. So just some random things in there, but mostly medicines. So moving down to this row, I'm going to like crouch down a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better because this one goes back a little further. So on the right hand side, there's this like acrylic tray that's actually kind of busted on one of the corners. Not this one. It's in the back over there. I got this from um, Erin Condren. 
Uh, I do not recommend that you use this because it is quite expensive for your bathroom organization. But um, yeah, that's that's where this is from. And that's actually where all of these uh, acrylic boxes are from too. I had another project that I was doing with these quite a while ago and I actually didn't end up using them so I just removed the tops and I just repurposed things that I already had. So I didn't spend any additional money on this project whatsoever but I will link the Erin Condren um, website down below if you guys are interested but to be honest you could probably find other things that are suited a little bit better um, for your needs in the bathroom. Back here is going to be all of my um, extra lotions that I have currently. Um, those are all like body butters and just regular lotions so I like that. So and then over on this side over here Let's see if I can do more of an aerial shot. Here we go. Um, I have some face wipes. These are just like makeup removers, more makeup removers. And then I have some like facial lotions. This is just my like tea tree stuff that I get from the body. Well, it's, it's the body shop brand, but I actually get it from Ulta. And then I've got extra Clarisonic brushes in this little cloth thing. I also have on the side here, I know it's kind of crazy to keep a receipt, but I do keep the receipt that I have for my Clarisonic. Reason being is um, I got it at Ulta and they do have a good return policy, but only if you have your receipt in case it breaks or something like that. So I do like to keep that. Um, I'll put my tampons back now. There we go. So over to the left hand side over here is some tampons. And it's just in this like cute little acrylic box. And actually the top of the box is what I'm using on here. This is, this is the top of the box, but I just removed the top because I didn't need it. And so tampons just live over here. Moving over to the left hand side, back there in the green can canister, wow, green container, is um, all of my nail polishes and things like that. Back there is going to be all of my contact solutions. And then I have two, whoops, hard to see. I have two uh, containers right here. This one here is gonna be more like my masks and things like that, just facial products and like more extra kind of skincare products. Over here to the left is just other extras that I have. So I've got like deodorants, toothpaste, um, I actually have some nail polish remover, so just like extra supplies. And that is it for the third shelf. The fourth shelf down is just some extras as well. I have my toilet paper over here, I've got some cotton rounds, and then I also have like my little earbud things like little q-tips and then on the very very bottom um, I also have the same basket that's right here um, I think I got them at home goods a long time ago like I think I lived in Fargo at the time when I got them so I have some extra paper towels as well as some regular cleaners right over here I like to decant mine I will link down below where those are from those are all from the container store and then on the very top, I put what they are. So it's like a daily shower cleaner, an all-purpose cleaner, and a glass cleaner. And then on the right-hand side of that is like a long scrubby thing for the shower if I want to get like super intense with it. But yeah, and then I think I need to add some more um, paper towels in there. I could probably add like two more rolls of paper towels, which I will do at some point. So that is it for the completed tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I am so happy that everything is now looking beautiful and is in its proper place and is with other like things. So um, like I said before, this is kind of going to be like a little bit of an ever-changing area just because when I'm out of something, then I can replenish it or replace it with something else if I'm not liking that product anymore, if I don't need that product anymore, if it expires or something like that. So I'm really, really loving the way that this all turned out. I will link as many products as I can find down below for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you want to see another area of my home that I organize, please let me know in the comments below some suggestions and I might get to yours. You never know. So I will see you guys very soon. Feel free to thumbs up the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!